What's up, Tim Sykes here. How's it going? Want to talk about this stock that I've been banking on this week, uh, selling too soon, not once, but twice now, underestimating it, but it's okay because frankly, I'm in Europe and you know, when I travel, I just try to take good trades. I don't try to time them perfectly. And actually when I travel, um, my track record is better because I'm like, oh, I don't want to take a trade unless I have to because I want to go out and explore. I just had this amazing pizza. It's all gone. <clears throat> Finish that. <laughs> so I want, I'd rather be eating pizza, but I will come out of my pizza retirement and trade if there is a play good enough. And that's what CVSI uh, has been for me this week so far. Forgive the chart, taking a little bit. I'm not on the best Wi-Fi. That's another thing when I'm trading and traveling. I'm not complaining about it. I'm not whining about it. I put myself in these positions because it forces me to have patience, okay? A lot of you guys are over trading. Guess what? I'm the king of motherfucking over trading, okay? So I've crafted my entire life around me not over trading. That's why I watch so many movies. That's why I go to so many countries. That's why I build so many schools. Um, I do all this stuff for fun too, but it's specifically activities that I've learned that help me choose the best trades. Because everyone's asking me like, how did I pick CVSI? It's like the best play. I thought Bitcoin plays were going to do well. Um, first of all, here are my two trades. Made nearly a thousand bucks. Nothing huge. Remember, I'm trading with a small account in order to teach you that you can do this from anywhere, that you can grow a small account. I've made nearly $100,000 in 2018. I think I've been to over a dozen countries. I've been on all kinds of Wi-Fi. I'm trading with small ass positions of a few thousand shares. Um, this was a classic multi-week breakout right here above two. I didn't even get it at two or 201 or 202 or 205 um, yesterday when I was buying it. Um, it's pretty crazy. I was actually buying it at 214. I wanted it, uh, you know, I was trying to get it at like 208, 210, but this, this damn stock just moved so fast. So I kind of chased it a little bit yesterday. Um, and that's frankly why I was so quick on my sell because, you know, we got the big morning spike that was near best case scenario. But this thing just keeps going. Um, pretty impressive um, that, you know, it closed strongly yesterday. Um, you know, it had like a little gap up. If I had it overnight, I probably would have made like five cents a share. So I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't take it overnight. But today I had a great dip buy alert in here um, right around 220. Now it's 250. Um, I was in in the low 220s, out in the high 220s. So I made like five cents a share today. Yesterday I made like what, 15, 20? Um, I'm not making huge, huge gains, but it is a nice breakout. And so what is causing it? Let's, let's talk about that. Oh, before I get into it, I should mention we are nearly sold out of my upcoming conference. Please, 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 if you are coming, get your ticket. I don't want procrastinators. I don't want you to complain later on when there's no tickets. We're selling out faster um, than we have in previous years. It's going to be me, uh, Michael Good, Tim Gertani, uh, Stephen Ducks, I think Mark Crook will be there. We also have some new uh, six-figure students uh, who are going to be teaching. It's not just about becoming a millionaire. You know, like I only have a few millionaire students. If you can make five or six figures, especially if you're trading part-time or if you're in college, I think that's incredible too. Um, but we show every trade. This is this is why I'm so proud. I'm not like bragging about millionaires or million dollars. We're transparent, okay? It's not just about the money that we make overall. We don't just show one screenshot like some people do. Um, we show all of our trades, the ups and the downs, every single trade. And I would really, really encourage you to be careful with people who don't show every single trade because all it takes is one trade, one trade to blow you up. And this is why a lot of traders don't show everything because they're, they're embarrassed. You know, they have ego, they have, they want attention. I already have too much attention. So if you hate me, then you hate me. That's fine. Um, I just want to teach this pattern. Okay. So yesterday, this was a first green day pattern. Oh, and I'll link uh, the conference just below this video too. Um, so, so grab that link. Um, but let's talk about this stock real quick. Um, whoa, what did I do to my chart? Uh, yesterday was a first green day. Uh, I put my head in the bottom corner here, but now you can't see the volume. Um, this was a big volume breakout, like literally the biggest volume uh, since June. So like a one month volume breakout and also a one month uh, chart breakout too. So you have a big chart breakout and a big volume breakout. Um, you know, very, very positive price action. 
So that's why I bought it. Um, people were asking, why did I buy it at 214? Like I said, I wanted it at 208, 210. It just kept going. Um, and, you know, normally I would say I don't want to chase, but I, I thought that it could retest this 240 level, which was resistance a few months ago. Um, I didn't think that it could necessarily touch 240 yesterday, and, and it didn't. Today it did. Um, so yesterday, first green day, big volume breakout, morning spike, OTC, former supernova. Um, solid, you know, multi-week uptrend. If I'm wrong, I cut my losses, you know, at, at 210. To, uh, I cut my losses from 210-ish where I wanted to buy it at two. So I lose, let's say, 10 cents. Um, like I said, I chased it with my entry at 214 a little bit. Um, but it just, it, it closed nicely yesterday. I took the meat of the move. Today was a great dip buying opportunity, okay? I have this chart pattern. It's called the Sykes Morning Panic. Um, or I call it the Sykes Morning Panic. You can call it whatever you want. But it's when you have this this kind of, you know, um, I guess you would say like it's just buyers, you know, this, this kind of morning spike that lasts, whether it's three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And then you get outright panic because I'm sure a lot of people expected a bigger gap up, a bigger morning spike. They got disappointed and that creates these morning panics. It's pretty incredible how well these stocks can do after these morning panics. This is when you really want to enter, especially with a small account. Uh, let me just pull up some other examples, one sec. So this is um, you know, on timothysykes.com. I've linked this blog post, I don't know, maybe two, three, 4,000 times. Um, I say try this every morning to improve your chances for profits. Um, this is the exact same kind of morning panic on ZPAS. Um, I have a whole you know, webinar on this that you can click the link to. Here's CATQ, which was a nice morning panic. Uh, CNAB was a great morning panic. And here was another one, EMMD. A lot of OTCs, and there's so many. Um, those are just a few examples. If you watch on Profitly, I have now 600 video lessons on morning dip buys. So a lot of you guys are like, how do I spot this pattern? How do I know? There's 600 fucking videos on it, okay? No two plays are exact, but the more that you study the past, the better your odds of success. So get to know this little price action. This probably looks like a little blip to, to newbies or whatever, but this was a great morning panic. It did not bounce actually the way that I wanted to. You know, for like an hour, it really didn't do much. And so I gave up on it. Like I said, I'm here in Italy. I can't even reach my pizza box now that I threw. Um, earlier just to get your attention and to brag about how good the pizza here is in Italy. Um, but it didn't do what I wanted. So frankly, I got out with a small profit. I made like four or five cents a share today. Later, midday, we're getting a big spike uh, to my goals. I didn't actually think that it could get to 249. Uh, I thought that it might, in the alert, I said, you know, I think this can get to the 230s or 240s. But it didn't even get to the 230s or 240s for like an hour from when I bought it. So I cut it off too soon. Um, it doesn't matter. I'll learn from it. You know, like I'm glad that I was on the right track. Some of you guys get so angry and you get discouraged when you're like, God, I, I sold, I took a loss or I, I had profits, but either way I could have had more profits. Like who gives a fuck? Like this is one trade. No one trade matters. Okay. Learn from every trade. It's cool that I've made nearly a thousand dollars on two trades. It's cool that I was a dead on uh, with the CVSI morning spike yesterday and my morning dip by today. That's good. I'm encouraged by it, but I can do better. Yesterday, I timed it pretty well. I took the, the really the majority of the move. Today, I took, you know, five cents and it turns out there's like, you know, 30 cents. So I took like one sixth of the move. So that's how I judge trades. Like what percent of the move, what fraction of the move did I capture? Today, one sixth, I'm not satisfied with that. But at the same time, it was kind of a weird bouncer. Um, so I, I underestimated it. I'll learn from it. I'll take uh, you know some stuff away from this where I say, okay, morning dip buys still work like a charm, bread and butter pattern. I love it. I don't know why more people don't do it. Um, and maybe I'll be a little more patient next time uh, on former supernovas. But it's also day two. I would not be chasing it now at 250. I know I'm gonna get a ton of questions. What do you do now? What do you do now? Nothing, fucking nothing. You study the past. You study the past two days. Maybe it goes up. Maybe it doesn't. It's way too overextended for me to chase it now. So I'm happy with my roughly thousand dollars in profits the past two days. Um, and it's a good lesson. Both both days are good lessons. Yesterday I traded it rather perfectly. Today very imperfectly. You guys were alerted both times. You can ignore my rules. You can ignore my patterns. You can ignore me if you want. 
you know, they work more times than not. So the sooner you learn it, I think the better, but you know, some people are just very stubborn. They're just like, but, but I want to trade some other stock. You can trade whatever you want, but I'm going to stick with patterns that work. Um, I'm going to get going because I actually have to write a blog post now. It never stops even when I'm traveling, but please do take advantage um, of this uh, conference sale, uh, September 29th to October 1st in Orlando. Uh, we had the early bird pricing ending uh, July 29th, but I think we're going to be sold out before then. So fair warning. I'll post a link underneath this video. I'll see you guys in the chat room. Congrats to all CVSI longs today. Shorts, enjoy.